The appeal of Taste of Tsukuba? That you can continue racing for many years. I think it's that being able to race with your own street bike. I think fans also like to see the same bike they own being raced. For me it's like playing golf on weekends. It just happens to be racing bikes for me. These bikes aren't the newest models but from the days when I was young. But you can still race with these bikes here and in this fantastic atmosphere. Isn't this the best? You can really enjoy this race and have great fun on the track. And I think it's really the greatest race. Welcome to Tsukuba Circuit. This racing track is only 90 minutes by car from downtown Tokyo. My name is Ken Nakin and I'm your navigator here today. We'll introduce a motorcycle race held here. Today we're here with you at Tsukuba Circuit. As you can see, many racing fans have already arrived. Taste of Tsukuba will be held here at Tsukuba Circuit. Taste of Tsukuba is a motorbike race that reminds us of AMA Superbike Championships in the 1980s. So I'd like to take a closer look. Tsukuba Circuit is a 1.3 mile or 2.07 kilometer track. A fairly compact racing track, but it's a popular racetrack for racing fans in Japan with over 40 years of racing history. With many tight turns and hairpins, these sharp turns become the key to a fast lap time here at Tsukuba. With its many tight turns, it's a technical racetrack where winning depends more on rider skill than race bike performance. At the end of the back straight, racers will reach racing speeds of over 124 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour. And how fast the riders can clear the final turn after the back straight decides which rider can cross the goal line first. The viewing area is also very close to the racetrack and fans can get really close to the race action here. Another reason why Tsukuba Circuit is a favorite for many racing fans in Japan. Honda CB1100R and CB900F, Suzuki GSX1000S Katana, Kawasaki Z1000J. These racing bikes in Taste of Tsukuba remind us of AMA Sur bikes of the 80s. These bikes you see here are machines from the main monster class. These bikes are all manufactured before 1983, have four-cycle air-cooled engines with capacity over 750cc with four to six cylinders, steel frames with dual shock absorbers resembling the AMA Super bikes in the 80s. The Monster class is a popular class with over 80 bikes today. Each bike is modified differently by their owners. Now let's take a closer look at a Monster Racing Machine, number 37 raced by Katsutoshi Ishigami. The basic regulation for Monster class bikes are 18 inches or larger wheels, front forks less than 40 mm diameter with looks resembling the original. There's no capacity limit for the engine, but the carburetors can't use accelerator pumps. So old type carbs such as Keihin CR and Mikuni TM are used. My bike gives about 125 horsepower, but the top machines do about 130 to 140 horsepower. By the way, the original stock engine is about 80 horsepower. There are more parts today than in the past, and there are many different approaches to modifying the race bikes. There are dozens of aftermarket parts, including crankshafts and pistons, and you can choose your own combination. There are racers who choose two pod brakes for the AMA like style, but most racers choose four pod brakes like my Brembo brakes. They have reliable stopping power and are easier to control. Modern tires are really good so the bikes need to be well balanced to mark fast lap times. That's why I build my bike based on balanced performance, not just engine power. It's harder to ride with these flat seats compared to racing seats, but that will change the looks, so I adjust my riding style and form instead. 
There are 12 classes in Taste of Tsukuba. There are qualifying rounds in the morning, and the final races are held in the afternoon. So racing machines are constantly running on the racetrack. The monster class with the largest entry are divided into three separate qualifying rounds, and only the top 33 racers will continue on to the finals. The top contenders will clock such fast times, it's hard to believe these bikes are over 30 years old. The difference between fastest and slowest lap times can be more than 10 seconds, but each competitor have their own target, and everyone enjoys taste of Tsukuba in their own way. More than 250 race entrants from all over Japan come together for this big racing event. The paddock area is packed from end to end with team tents. There are racing machines everywhere you look, and each are individually modified, with not a single race machine the same. And then there are the fans that come to watch this biannual racing event. The paddocks and stands are packed. And let me remind you that this race is not a professional race. It's not a world championship, not a national championship. The regulations don't guarantee equal conditions. So what's the appeal of Taste of Tsukuba? You can see that in the crowds that love this race. Let's also talk to a few of the racers after the qualifying round. Bike number two, A.G. Kawashima, Team Power Builder. I've won the Monster class 8 times out of 12 races. I've done some work to reduce the weight of my bike, but I build my machine trying to keep the Monster class looks. Now all I need to do is get used to this machine and improve my lap time. My best lap time in scuba is 1 minute 2 seconds flat, and I think I can get it under 2 seconds. I can't think of any other bike I'd like to ride. It's not just bikes I love, it's the Kawasaki Z I love. I just enjoy I enjoy riding the Z very fast. I want to keep the 80s bike look and still ride fast. I've already won 8 races, so my current goal is 10 wins. I want to record a lap time under 2 seconds by then. Bike number 10, Tsukasa Koizumi. My bike's GSX 1100S Katana from Team Power Builder. This is my third year in Monster class, and besides my first race, I've always finished within the sixth place. My best placing has been fourth place, so this time I want to open the champagne on the podium. My machine is fast, but I still need to adjust the shocks to make the bike turn better. My current best lap is 3 seconds flat. If I can ride the bike carefully, I know I can improve the lap time. My next goal is to beat Kawashima. Bike number 37, Katsutoshi Ishigami. My machine's Kawasaki Z1R from Team Yellowcorn. I've raced in Taste of Tsukuba for 15 years. I've won two or three races, but I have great fun riding in the upper positions. My best lap time is 3 seconds 6. And my goal is not just lap times, but to continue racing until 60. Bike number 59, Hideo Nonaka, on Suzuki GS1000 this time. My team is Kyushu Tetsuma plus Step 1. My best placing is 9th last spring. My engine is souped up to 1170cc with Yoshimura Stage 3 cams and outputs about 130 horsepower. Best time in practice 3 weeks ago was 3 seconds 8. Recent tires and engine parts are really good and I've found that GS1000 can be a contender. My aim is to stand on the top 3 positions on the podium. Bike number 79, Taro Tanitsu on Kawasaki KZ900 from Team Taro Motors and Amanjak. I started racing in Taste of Tsukuba from 2012 or 13. I don't want to break the engine by increasing too much power, so I build a machine that's easy to ride. Engine output is about 125 horsepower or so. Best lap time on this bike is 2 seconds 6. I like the lap under 2 seconds. Bike number 97, Toshiyuki Nagashima on Honda CB750F from Team Auto Shop Aoyama. 
My best lap time is 4 seconds 4. My best placing is 2nd place. I've been on the podium a couple times. 5 years ago, we went to race the famous Daytona Speedway with a group of Taste of Scuba buddies. On our second try, we were able to win a race and it's been a really good memory for me. As a Monster Class legend, how do you see the Monster Class in the future? 30 years ago, I rode a 400cc Kawasaki and my dream bike then was this Z1000 Mark II. Now I own my dream bike and everybody brings their dream bikes to the racetrack. And we all have a great time here and I wish this will continue on. Now for the main race, the Monster Class race is about to begin. In pole position is number 2, Eiji Kawashima on a Kawasaki Z1000R at 1 minute 3 seconds 109. Second grid is number 10, Tsukasa Koizumi on a Suzuki GSX-1100S Katana, just 0.4 seconds behind. In the third grid, number 79, Taro Tanizu on Kawasaki KZ900. And the last grid in front row is number 4, Yasuo Arai on Kawasaki Z1000 Mark II. Due to a crash, the Monster Class will restart for a short new 6 lap race. Riders concentrate on the start signal for the 6 lap race. And the race begins! This is the restart for Monster A Class. Pole sitter number 2 Kashima has a really good start. The green Kawasaki of number 2 Kashima clears turn 1 and leads the race. Followed by number 79 Hanizu and number 83 Arai close behind. It's a 6 lap sprint race. Number 83 Arai comes up to 2nd place after the first hairpin. Past Asia turn, pass left into the second hairpin. Number two, Kawashima still leading the race. It seems the restart worked well for Kawashima. Now into the back straight. Whoops! A spit stop sign for number 15. Number 15, Kaura penalized for jump starting. The green Kawasaki leaving the final turn. Number 2 Asia Kashima is the leader for the opening lap. Second position number 89 Arai, followed by number 79 Koizumi, number 3 Harikai, and number 13 Ara for the opening lap. Five laps to go. Arai continues to lead the race on pole position. Oh no! Number 79 Tanizu from third grid front row is returning to pit road. What an upsetting turnout. He returns slowly back up to pit road, head down. Looks like machine problems. Second lap into the race, Eiji Kashima still leading the race. Into the final turn, the first machine clearing the final turn is the green Kawasaki number 2 Kawashima. Kawashima leans far off the bike, which is his riding style. Behind him is number 83, Yasuo Arai, also known as Yasan, in second place. The leader Kawashima on a power builder machine, second place Arai rides a blue thunder TIS machine and third place Koizumi also on a power builder bike. The top three go through the dollop arch, past the tight Asia turn and into the fast left. Followed by number three Harikai now up to fourth position and number 13 Ara dropped to fifth position and number 28 Tuzura in sixth position. Into the back straight of lap three. Again, Kashima picking up speed here and into the final turn. Three laps finished and on to lap four. And in this lap, the fastest lap is recorded by number 83 Arai in second position at 1 minutes 3 seconds 311. 
Number two, Kashman in the lead, trying to get away. And number 83, all right, closing that gap with only 0.504 seconds behind. And just 0.4 seconds behind is Koizumi in third place. Three laps cleared and into the latter half of the six lap sprint. The bikes rocket off the second hairpin and into the longest back straight. Number two, Kawashima shows excellent speed from here. And into the final turn. And from behind Arai comes Koizumi. Number two, Kawashima showing superb straight end speed. And he retakes the fastest lap at 1 minute 3 seconds, 177. Kawashima retakes the fastest lap. Now the gap between second position increases to 0.655 seconds. Four laps clear and into lap five, two laps remaining. Two laps remaining in the monster class race. Kawashima leads, followed by Rai, Koizumi, Harikai, Ara, Suzura in the top six. Kawashima now approaching the final turn. Number two leaving the final turn and back into the home straight. Number two Kawashima into the final lap. distance between the top three have increased. Kashima leading the race and into the first hairpin. Dives into the Dunlop Arch. Kawashima, Arai, Koizumi, Harikai, Ara, Suzura. Followed by Fujita, Nonaka, Ishigami. Takahashi, Mitsuhira, Sugiura, Mashiko, in the final lap. Past the second hairpin and into the back straight. Kawashima still keeps the lead. Through the final turn and back to the home stretch. Number two, Eiji Kawashima from Paul to win. Second place, number 83, Yasu Arai. Third place, Number 10, Tsukasa Koizumi. Fourth place, number 3, Shinji Harikai. Fifth place, number 13, Noriyuki Ara. In sixth place, number 28, Toshiyuki Tsuzura. And in seventh place, up one position in the final lap, number 59, Hideo Noraka. In eighth position, number 93, Takumi Fujita receives the checker flag. So we took a look at the monster class race from Taste of Tsukuba Satsuki stage, May 2016. In California 1979, a camera was placed on a race bike during an actual MAA superbike race for the first time. Racers in the film later became world class racers such as Wes Cooley, Eddie Lawson and Fred Merkel. The racing machines all became legends in their own right. Freddy Spencer's CBS, Wes Cooley's GS, and Eddie Lawson's Z Racer. There were probably many people around the world who saw these races and later started riding these cool motorbikes. In the taste of scuba, the same young people who watched the AMA racing films even after 30 years, still ride the same bikes and continue racing them. This is a new racing culture being born and nurtured in Japan. Racing is not just about racing the newest and fastest machines, but motorsports can develop into different and new racing cultures. Today, we've introduced the Taste of Scuba Monster Class Race as exactly such an example.
I hope that next time we'll see you at Tsukuba Circuit and join us in this new racing culture as spectators or even race participants. No one is alone You can find a way I don't know.